Hello guys, my name is Ramik and in the first episode of the Quick.net Tips, we'll talk about how to quickly establish the communication between the front-end application and the .NET Web API. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please hit the subscribe button down below, write the comment, give me the like, and as always, now we're going straight into the topic. All right, guys, I have two web applications. The first one is the front-end one that was built in Angular. And the next one is the .NET 8 web API with the two endpoints, the one endpoint to create the support request that is uh, marked the post endpoint. And the next one is the get endpoint to retrieve all the support requests from the database. And I have here the form to create the support request. We have the title and details. So I'll just type support and details, details, and I haven't set the course policy yet in my web API. So when I click submit, I have an error in the console that my request has been blocked by the course policy. The response to the pre-flight request doesn't pass the access control check. So we have to implement the course policy in our .NET 8 web API to accept the calls from that localhost with the port 4200. All right, guys, so we have to accept the calls from the localhost 4200, so the HTTP request from our Angular application to our .NET 8 web API. And we'll do this in the program CS file. So we have to specify the builder dot services dot at course and inside of it we'll just pass the options and inside of it we'll just use the opt as the shortcut and we have to add policy and inside of it we'll just name this policy as the course course policy and the next parameter is the policy builder so policy policy builder and we have to give the allow any header allow any method and allow any origin if you would like just to open your uh, .NET 8 web API, uh, web API to everything but we would like to allow all the headers all the methods but only from the one origin so we have to pass the policy builder dot allow any header, allow any method, and we have to specify the localhost 4200. So with, with origins and inside this method, we have to pass the uh, address that we would like to accept. So HTTP localhost with the port 4200. And the very crucial thing here, we have to use this course policy down below in our program CS. So I'll just use this course policy and we have to write app dot use use course and we have to pass the same name that we have specified in here that this is the course policy name and we have to pass the same exactly name here in order to apply this course policy. So course, course policy. And now once we have applied our course policy, I'll click submit once again and then we'll check if our support request has been properly created uh, in the database. So I'll click submit. And as you see now, our breakpoint has been hit properly. We have the save changes async. The support request has been added. And when I will just resume our program, we see that the support request created successfully. We have the ID, we have the title and the details and the status code 201. So that means that our request was not failed. Now our request from the front-end application has been properly uh, transferred to our API and 
our resource has been created.